XVM. Stupid invaders. Okay, space goobs. Oops, they're called. Fun fact. At the same company that did the cartoon also did Augie and the Roaches, which also is on Game Boy Advance. If nobody knows that game existed. And also did like Lucky Loop cartoon reboot style. Also did this one. Those of you who haven't heard about these characters, or is it supposed to be called Space Goose? But for some reason, this game is called Steven Vaders. And they have to build a spaceship to go back home. It doesn't happen until like years later that this game was released in 2001 on the Dreamcast. I think I did heard of this game when I was a child. I was looking at um, the video game book manual. There's like a bounty hunter that chases after them, which is also based on the cartoon. I don't remember the mad scientist. Their appearances are pretty weird. Hmm, <laughs> look at that, there's half a shark. I'll give it some credit, the opening scene looks incredibly good. Also another fun fact, this alien bounty hunter is voiced by B. Billy West. Which we are on the... Well, the time that Futurama was released in 1999. Plays Philip J. Fry. Hmm, <laughs> look at that. Yep, these are the characters. The one in purple is the leader. The blue one is like to eat one a lot. Two heads that reigns over. Alright. Candy is a green one that's going to be all. No one. And Spud is like the couch potato. Hmm. You have all that bunch of that opening. This is basically a point and click game, which you can clearly see. Everybody loves this game because it's based off the cartoon that lasted for like a few seasons. Another fun fact. Also, they did not swear on the kid show. Candy's a lost me out lady. Identity. Like in that device. Doing yes, the purple Danger. one with the same voice. Why do you say that? Also, also from drama. Yep, freeze them all except for him. I don't know why, but that's one of my favorite lines he ever says. 
Does say these alien designs look incredibly interesting, Crane's bug himself. At least he does more instead of watching television. Also, the music star reminds me of Toonstock. <laughs> yeah, I like those potty humors there, too. Also, Spud's voice sounds very familiar, like I swear I heard it somewhere before. Yep, you got uh, those are painted dialogue lines. Plus, you can save game anytime you want. Yeah, like the cartoon does not show like adult humor in this. This game does. This is kind of like, um, credible stuff. Other references. There are some helpful items, though, it says to you during the gameplay. If you say game right away, if you accidentally do something horrible, like unlocking the door right where the bounty hunter is at, you'll instantly die right away. Like this. Yep, thank goodness for safe states. It's kind of instantly game over. Oh, it's kind of like a puzzle game. You have to figure out what you're supposed to do. And the cutscene will play in Caristo. It's done. I have to escape that bouncy hunter before he gets you. The soundtrack does sound a little terrifying, but it does get a little bit better later on. Still, this is not half bad for an old game that came out in the early 2000s. Despite this was their last moment. I'm ending the series that started in the mid-90s. Who's that? I'm still saying that. One more time. Really? Early only in the fourth of July, isn't it? See you next video.